they're holding us up and people are getting upset. Like, well, you know what? We'll, we'll do an encore performance because I'm crunk right now while we're waiting. I'm ready. Because I'm Go crunk ahead. right Nathan, now. Nathan, take it off. Take, take, take it away, Nathan. Take it away, Nathan. What? I got tape because I wanted to is take a scrapbook of my candles. But my dad said no because he thinks I'm a bitch because I'm crunk right now. Take it away, Mo. Take it away, Mo. Fuck you, Dad. You won't let me smoke weed. You're an asshole. So is Mom. <laughs> what is this? The Counting Crows impersonation? Because <laughs> I'm crowing right, right now. now. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> 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 Jamie's just a fucking hater. It's not uh, a phase you can't change her. Cause I'm crunk uh, right uh, now. <laughs> yeah. Yesterday, I lost my. I'm glad that this came from Call of Duty. Needs to drink some Dr. Paper. Yes, cause she took my Xbox Live. Fuck you. Now they think I'm bad. Anyway. Okay. Cause I'm crying <laughs> right now, right now. Wait, am I on a team by myself? Okay. No. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Jamie. There's three teams. There's three teams. No, who was on? Who's on? Who's on? Blue team. Blue team. Check. 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 One. Check. I'm blue team. Blue team. Chat. Yeah, blue team. Blue team. Join team. Chat, please. Join audio team. Audio check on that blue team. Join, join team. What? Chat, please. Blue team. We need two. We need two tanks. We need two healers. <laughs> and uh, I'm playing Reaper. Can you get off? Can you get Come off Reaper, Jamie? Fine. <laughs> Uh, Reaper, you fucking suck, dude. Getting, you, you're not getting no, my you get it? Do you get it? Do you get it? I'm playing Reaper because I'm playing Black Shy Guy. Ha! 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 Oh my god, I just got hit in the ass because I. Why? <laughs> Jay! Why? Why? Jay, why? I was why? fine. Who does that? No, Jay, I was on the right. You went from the left straight to the right. Well, who does that? Who does that? I was fine. Hey! I know you're behind me. Again, you're going from Man. the right to the left. Just choose a fucking lane and race in it, Jay! Jesus Christ, you know blue team in the top three. I, I fuck green shell. Mom, fuck you, you can go straight to hell. Fuck Jay, I threw a red shell at your ass. But we're on the same team. Yeah, I know. Jamie made me mad though, I'm sorry. What the? I'm Bro, sorry. Because <laughs> I'm crunk You're right ass. now. Uh, right now. Not everybody's in front of Plants are my best friend. I need someone to tell me what to do in the morning. Cause I wanna drink the weed and the HTC vibe. I want to do it. You're an idiot. Yo, you're stupid, man. Fuck Nathan, gonna kick your ass. Mmm. Bye, you tried. Bye, Whatever bitch. Donkey Kong is, you Bye tried, now. my dude. You tried. You tried, Nathan. You tried. Bye now. Wait, wait. How'd you Nathan, you tried, my dude. You tried. So, I so, some dogs. Some dogs. Some dogs. Yeah, some what? Dogs. Do we have any questions yet? We have quite a few. Mm. Well, we choose, have 71. Choose, choose whatever you think is the best oh. one and read it to us. But don't choose any ones that say, how do I do YouTube? Uh, I've already don't, said don't the choose... first 24, so just go with those. Okay, well, there you go. Okay. Question one. A guy who is gay is trying to get close to me, but I don't swing that way. Any advice to let them down easy? Why do I, I you straight up? Repeat what you just said to them. A guy who is gay is trying to get close to me, but I don't swing that way. Any advice I'm to let them right down easy? Right now. Start my weed because I keep getting. All right, Nathan, give advice in the song form. Do it. Uh, oh I'm not God. gonna do that. Uh, you can't. Funny story. Uh, this can't. actually happened. Yeah, this actually happened to me. But like over Tumblr, some you literally, you literally answered your question. Yeah, yeah, some gay dude hit me up, and I just like instead like because it was on the internet, I just ignored him. I mean, what? the best the best way to go about it again, it's it's like it's like we say in all situations like this. Just honesty is the best policy. You just tell him, say, hey yo, 
Sorry, bro. But, uh... Nah, f*** dog. You can't get in this hole. Oh. <laughs> just tell him. That, like, that's it. That's it. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna... I, I'm still anally aversion, and I'd like to stay that way. Because, I mean, like, to be, be real... Damn, Jay. What the fuck, Jay? Bro, I'm... You are a I, failure. I, You're a yo, failure. I think my, my... Because, I mean, I mean, be real. Like, how, how else are you gonna do it? Any other way sounds like a sitcom. Mm -hmm. Basically, like, like, are you gonna like write the message in the sky to him? That's gonna give him the wrong impression. <laughs> I'm not I gay. Are you gonna I like? Fuck, I'm sorry. Are you gonna like put the coffee. message inside of? Okay. Like, just fuck tell him. Me. Just flat out tell him. Good question. Well, oh shit! Mario Kart. If Yo, that person is a friend, just place, make man. sure that you're really just delicate and not trying to hurt him, and just be like, Jay, you, you know, slippery whore. Um, oh shit! What is happening? I don't know. I'm just I'm waiting on the next question. Okay. I'm just joining. All right. Well, question two and three are kind of related because they're about the same thing, just different perspectives. So, same. go ahead, Summer. All right. So question two. Uh, says, I'm really trying to do well in my high school classes, and for the most part I am, but they are much harder than they were last year. I have a hard time focusing and an even harder time dedicating time to just studying. Do you have any tips to make it easier to study? And then question three, which is basically the same, was says, if I was wondering if you've ever struggled focusing when doing something or even listening, and if you have, what did you do to help you improve? This has been a problem my whole life, and I've recently taken notice. And the additional says, I'm also a high school student and in an early college high school senior year. So, me reading that, like, I know that there are two different questions from two different people, but especially the second one sounds to me like you might have, like, ADD if you can't focus. Yeah, that's like that. something that I've, like, just focused uh, on fixing I, this year. I, I can see the ADD part, but at the same time, like, I don't have it and I always had a hard time focusing in school because I was bored. Like That's it was true like, too. it's I one of those things. Like when I um take more challenging like, classes. Or exactly. Like that, that. that was the thing. If you really need, like, if you want to get into it, and you want to like actually be able to focus on something that actually does challenge you, like you have to find a challenge. You got to take a different class. You got to ask your teacher for a fucking uh, more complicated work or some shit. Like you got to go out of your way to yeah, keep yourself yeah, focused yeah, and keep yourself Nathan. into it. <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> But yeah, that's really the only thing you I'm can't so do is you just gotta you have to find something shit. that challenges you because if you're, oh. I mean, it could be. Why do I keep getting communication oh. errors? What the fuck, bro? Get the. Dick, I can't. Man. I can't play this fucking game because I keep getting disconnected. I don't get it. Um, for me, because this happened to me, but I got out pretty okay. Um, just take tutoring, dude, or after school programs or some shit. They'll help you out. Just gotta find something that challenges you. That's literally all it is. Uh, I would say if you I think your have... classes are boring, but you have to do well in them, then just take tutoring. I don't think uh, I don't think I have ADD, and I don't think uh, like the closest thing that I've ever had to that is some classes like Twitch say you just end up being bored in. But it wasn't I wasn't bored in them because like it wasn't challenging. It was just because I wasn't interested. Yeah. And you can't yeah, you yeah. can't apply like yeah. like look at it parallel oh, it to playing parallel it to playing a video game. You know, if you're going to sit there and force yourself to play a game, you're not going to have any interest in it. You don't want to play. But it's like, if you are interested in the game and you actually want to do it, before you know it, you're done with the game. And it's the same way with classes. You know, I can't tell you how many times I've sat in a history class. I absolutely love history. I will eat that shit up. And yep. I'm at the end of class, I'm like, oh, we're over? We're done? What the hell? But then you put me in a math class. Well, I want to say math class or a science class or something. And it's literally like... I, I'll be on my phone the entire time. I just cannot pay attention because I just don't care. I don't give a fuck. So, yeah. You just have to find, either find a class that you're interested in or find a class that's more challenging, something that uh, tickles your fucking pickle. Yeah. How about that? Next question! No, I keep disconnect. I don't. I literally just can't play the match. I'm just going to sit here and look at you guys, so. Anyway. What did you do? What did you do to fix that, Jamie? Next um, question. Oh. Are you guys ready? Or... Yep. Okay. So, there's this girl in my psych class that I've been crushing on as of late, but I don't really know how to approach her and make a good first impression. Earlier this week, she smiled at me when I passed her in the hall, so I'm not sure if that means anything. How should I approach her? 
Mm, boy, right. I bet well, you thought about I can that tell for like you right the now next that if she just hours? smiled at you as you passed her by. Like, I'm not trying to make you feel like shit or anything, but that generally doesn't mean anything. Yeah, yeah. yeah like, 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 I was gonna that. say, I know, I know you sat, you like sat and you thought about that cold. grin for about 12 hours, my dude. You yep. were sitting there cheesing. Your mind went to all kinds of different places. <laughs> She smiled but, at me. She's in love with me. But no, she like like Summer said, like it, it generally there. doesn't mean anything. You know what I mean? You walk into Sears, and if they have good customer service, they'll smile at you. you, know, when you oh, wow. Them, I thought Judy from everybody... fucking Sears wanted to suck my dick, dude. Exactly. She was probably just being nice because she recognized you, not because she wants you fucking <coughs> schlong. Is that the heated And she's also just doing her job. I've been here. Uh, um, we got somebody in the chat. Thank you so much for subscribing. That's what Judy said in Sears. Um, oh. <laughs> uh, uh, like to me it's like w people are allowed to like be nice and friendly without other people thinking that they're interested and I know it's kind of hard to differentiate the two but sometimes you just have to like just assume that they're not meaning anything romantic by it because unless they straight up tell you like look I like you or something like that then I would just go with you never opinion. assume. Otherwise, you'll you'll uh, like you'll be setting yourself up for disappointment. Well, more so, more so. Let's not, let's not focus on the smile more so than anything. His question was, how does he like tell her? How does he approach that, hey, her and make a good first impression? Walk up to her in the middle of the hallway and tell her, I want to zoom a zoom zoom all up in your boom boom boom. 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 Yes, uh, do that. Uh, why did I know that that's what that was gonna happen? I mean, I mean, there's no, there's no. You gotta. I don't know. I don't fucking know. Like that's one of those things where either you you a Go up to her and just say, yo, I want to suck in your nipples. Or B, you get to know her and see where things go. Because before you know it, you might not even be compatible yo, with this shit. Write, write her a note, put it under her, her book, and let her know. Oh my god! Fucking communication errors, bro. I'm done. This is fucking stupid. I can't play this game. Well, we so, uh, Wii U, bro. We so Wii this Wii U. is the third race in a row I can't play this in the game. last, I've... like, three seconds. Start, I've been passed. Restart your Wii U, my dude. I already did. I literally just did that. <clears throat> do it again, my dude. Do it again, my dude. <clears throat> so, yeah. <clears throat> Next question! Okay. Uh, this question Twix. says... I find it very difficult getting rid of negative people out of my life. I'm not confrontational at all, and I hate rocking the boat, so normally I just let them do their thing. Even though I know if I back away from them, I'd probably be happier. What should I do? Rip their dicks off. Okay. Tell them to fuck off. Mm, basically. Or just like walk away and just not give a shit. I can't play this game and I don't know why. I'm about to go play Smash. I mean, there may be situations where you really can't get away from them, but try your best to ignore them. Like that shit's not at that point. Mm -hmm. Like you don't. I I, th I feel like it sounds like more than one of those things where it's like you say you're you're not confrontational and whatnot. Like, it's one of those things, it, like, it makes me feel like it's either someone that you're in a relationship with, or, like, your parents, or someone that telling them, like, hey, I don't really want to hang out with you anymore, would actually have ramifications on your life. Because, to me, if someone's just negative, then, you, sorry, bro, it's nice knowing you, but... How do you ask questions? Go to my Twitter and click on Jamie's tweet that I retweeted. Deuces the fuck out, my dude. So, it's one of those things where either, if it's that person that is kind of just stuck in your life... Then, all right, Peach. I don't know what the fuck you thought this was, but uh, either you need to figure out a way to handle it with that person, which if they are a permanent fixture in your life, then they should be a little more reasonable than others. Uh, but if not, then who gives a fuck? Drop that nigga. Move on. You don't need that negativity. Nah, Nathan. All right, I'm gonna try to. I'm trying to change my internet settings right now. I don't, I don't know what's going on. Lucky as fuck with items. It's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, but you also hey. suck dick in Mario Kart. I actually have been beating your ass for the past three years. Can you people read it one more time for me? Okay. Yeah. Why did I get first last time? Being not so confrontational. Because you got a bullet the last Pussy second. All. It just means you don't like I to argue with actually. people. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm the same way. I don't like arguing with people. That was actually nappy two races ago. So try again, Nathan. Yeah, Nathan. I mean, you still you still got an item last time. Try second. again, Nathan. Yeah, Nathan. Try You're again, still Nathan. Is less try severe. again. I heard him. I heard him. I heard, I heard him. Wrong. I heard him. I heard him. <laughs> I heard him. I don't know who's in front of me. I <sighs> thought this was Jay. What? Why? Summer, can you repeat that question for me? Because I didn't hear it. Because I was vetting more questions. Um, it said I find it very difficult getting rid of negative people out of my life. I'm not confrontational right. at all, 
and I hate rocking the boat, yeah. so normally I just let them do their thing, even though I know if I back away from them, I'd probably be happier. What should I do? Well... Masturbation is the answer to everything. <laughs> <laughs> Not wrong. How do you know uh, I was going to say that? I accidentally started Smash, I apologize. I'm, I, was I just think that, you know, if, if you either can avoid them or distance yourself, or, like, live with the toxicity. Like, if anything, just keep to yourself. Yeah. Like, don't fuck with them. Did it, did it, did it, did it, did it. I don't think live Who's with Blue Yoshi? the toxicity is the answer. That's Jamie. Uh, my thing is, if you can't talk to them and you don't feel like that they would be, uh, it would be something that you even attempting to talk to them would solve, then just drop them from your life. Unless, of course, it's somebody that you can't, like, if it's, like, your brother or, like, yeah, a it's... family member or something, that's a diff. Like, that, I feel like you should probably try your best to hash out, but if it's, like, somebody at school or some shit, like, just because you see them doesn't mean you have to be friends with them. So. I don't know. I'm just trying to get this stuff on the work. Hey! All right, Mario Kart. All right, shit. I'll get more questions, but go ahead, Summer, if you want to go to the next one. Okay, so this one is pretty long. So, are you guys ready? Mm. All right. Yeah, this is. I think this is a good one. Yep. What? So, for the past two years, I have had a crush on my department manager. It was a denial crush to begin with, but it turned into hardcore feelings. For those two years, I kind of thought we had something. Like everyone was pointing it out, asking if we were together. Both of us denying it. We would talk a lot at work, like every day after my shift, lots of jokes, goofing around, sexual innuendos included. We would catch on to each other's mannerisms and would be able to look at each other and know what the other was thinking. Like everyone kept saying we acted differently around each other in a good way. What kept me from confessing was the rule that managers could not be in a relationship with those under them. I accepted this and stayed quiet. Recently, he got transferred to another store, and I may have chickened out and confessed to him on his last day via text. I choked when I tried to say it in person. He never responded, but other co-workers who knew said he walked past them after the incident with a smug smile look on his face. I've seen him a few times here and there after, but have been too scared to approach him. I want to know how he feels too, but I'm too scared to ask. Should I ask? I saw him recently, but it felt like he was avoiding me. But every time I glanced his way, he was looking in my direction, too. But would look away as soon as I would glance. Should I take this silence as his answer, or continue to be optimistic about the whole situation? 